This is uh, just to give you a happy Valentine's Day message. So happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Um, so the topic of today's video um, is just a quick upload to, um, yeah, as we celebrate these uh, particular dates where we come to celebrate um, the uh, love. Um, yeah, for me, the way that I would see this day is that um, is when we come to God and we say, um, no man has greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. I'm blending. I'm blending. Okay. On a serious note, for God knows, well, Jesus actually laid down his life for us, but not like that, in a, in a, in a very horrific, painful way, so that we might have freedom from this planet and live with him happily ever after in heaven in God's house. So if you saw on my playlist, um, I did put a uh, good morning Vietnam on there. Um, so if this is you guys that are watching, uh, obviously to the guys that I recently met um, who are from, can you guess where? That's right, Vietnam. Um, and their uh, two kids. Uh, as I said, I put a, uh, a couple of videos on there that will hopefully bless you and, and your kids so they can um, hopefully come to know the most amazing story, uh, which is a reality that Jesus is alive. So as we celebrate Valentine's Day, uh, there's some scripture that um, Father God says that whoever loves uh, their mom or their dad or their children more than me is not worthy of my kingdom. And the reason he says that is because we always go to the source. It's kind of like if it's somebody's birthday, you know, you, you enjoy the music and the food and the friends and the fellowship. Um, you know, it's only right to really go up to the person who hosted that party because none of that would have been possible unless had they have you know prepared and gave that environment the food and the resources and everything for you to enjoy it so it's kind of like if you have love in your life if you have um and you can have love in your life but people can not always love the right things but if you have somebody that you love like whether it's your your mom or your dad or your children or if you've been given a spouse or if you've been given um someone to do life with what a wonderful gift um you know, and you have uh, the capacity to be able to love. So that's why we come to God and we're like, wow, we always go to the, um, you know, to God because God is love. Love comes from God and love is um, a wonderful gift. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that you and I might have eternal life and be free from sin and live in a place where no more crying, no more tears, no more fears. It's, it's paradise. It's beautiful. And it's God's house. Um, that he's built for himself and uh, he's giving you an invitation to um, come and live with him um, you know so that's pretty amazing um, so there's lots of scriptures um, you know for uh, no greater love than uh, has a person to lay down his life for his friends um, and that's what Jesus did for us it's uh, we love because he first loved us unless father God didn't allow us to have the capacity to even be able to um, have an awareness of love or to be able to, um, you know, have that, uh, then we wouldn't be able to engage in it. So the fact that we can love comes from God. So we're like, hey, Father God, thank you that you've given me a loving heart. Thank you that um, I have people to love in my life. If it, wasn't for, if it wasn't for you making people, I wouldn't have someone to love. If it wasn't for you making a, a female or a male or a partner of that person, I, I, I don't know, I wouldn't have had those lovely memories. You've been so, so good to me. And I just want to say I love you and happy Valentine's Day. And um, thank you for all the love that you've given to me. Not only that, not only, not only just these wonderful gifts, but even you know through some hard times as well, um, that you've always been there with me. And uh, thank you that you, um, you know, and if you're struggling out there and you're know you you're going through maybe, I don't know, if you're struggling with a, a disease or a, um, a disability or something, whatever, sometimes some people have a lot of challenges, but he says that, uh, no eye has seen, no ear has heard what the Lord God has in store for those who love him. So that means even greater things are yet to come. So as we enjoy his fellowship, um, yeah, uh, another subject just to um, pop that in. I'll put a few pictures on afterwards. Um, so hopefully that will encourage and bless you as well. Um, other than looking at this. Um, oop. Recently, another topic has come up, merchandise, because I was thinking about mannerisms, 
obviously God made humanity, God became a man, Jesus became a man. Um, so yeah, and on that we're looking at some churches that basically um, are using merchandise. You know, they're kind of like going into the church sector and monopoly, what's the word, monopolizing? Monopoly, it's all about the property. No. Okay merchandise in the church so it's like kind of like some people might be like hey you want to buy yourself some uh some pasta available 10 quid you know something like that you know just because it will say pasta on it but sometimes you don't just need to go to your pasta um to be able to get things sorted they're there to help you on your journey but sometimes you need to you know go to the source you can also purchase this, available at $25.95. Terms and conditions apply. Post and packaging not included. Um, you know, sometimes people will, yeah, use stuff to make things that they can monopolize, generate money, income or from off the church. Um, you know, uh, and you know, you might want to be, as a Christian, um, loyalty. Not just loyal, this is loyalty. So if you're going to be a, a loyal, faithful Christian, get yourself some of these, loyalty. Um, and then, uh, you know, God, uh, you know, he likes that when we're loyal. Um, so yeah, loyalty. <sighs> yeah, no, I don't know about you about merchandise. There was like, I think there are some good things like, uh, I got a, uh, a shirt, t-shirt, uh, a while back and I was so chuffed with it because it had like Jesus, Jesus, Jesus on it. Cause I like to, we live in a world where there's subliminal messages all over the place in your newspaper, on your telly. You know, open up the newspaper, you're like, oh, well, really? You know, guilty pleasures, um, you know, well, there's like a, a, a few words well, like, well, okay, Ooh, try to see focused. And then you've got like gossip, slander, people like, you know, whatever. And it's just like, wow. It's like, or you go into a shop and just like, spoof, spoof. so yeah, you're always going to get, I don't know what people, why they want to do that. Um, but that's the fallen world that we live in. Um, so sometimes it is nice. I think um, there was someone that was making T-shirts, but they were using that money so that those T-shirts could be used as a type of witness um, to help remind people about Jesus. Uh, and also some of that money was used to help, you know, feed people in impoverished countries and stuff like that, um, which I think was uh, actually kind of a good thing. But then you've got other people that's taken to a whole other level. I think um, I might, if Sean doesn't mind, from Revealing Truth, he did a video on this. It's pretty cool, but there's some guy selling apocalypse soup um, or some kind of um, liquid uh, apocalypse um, sauce uh, that you could, uh, you know, as for survival um, liquid, you could buy like liters of it. It's like, come on, seriously? Um, you know, I think that's probably on a whole another level. So anyway, I hope that blesses you. Um, yeah, that's it really, I think. So I hope you all have a, a very good, happy Valentine's Day. You can love God every day. Um, his love is everlasting from everlasting. And um, yeah, so God bless and happy Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm.